Hello, welcome back to the TechBits YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be addressing and talking about the concept and the topic about Postgres table inheritance. We're going to look at its advantages and some items to keep in mind. That said, let's go ahead and get started. The first item to address is data organization and clarity. Table inheritance allows you to create a hierarchical structure for your data, which can improve the organization and clarity of your database schema. Inheritance represents and is a relationship where child tables inherit columns and constraints from their parent table. This can simplify the design and understanding of complex data models. Next in line, code reusability. Inheritance enables code reusability by allowing you to define common columns and constraints in a parent table. Child tables automatically inherit these attributes, reducing the need to repeat column definitions and constraints across multiple tables. This can simplify maintenance and reduce the likelihood of errors. Next in line, polymorphism. Table inheritance supports polymorphism, allowing you to treat a group of related tables as a single entity. Queries or operations performed on the parent table can be applied to its child tables, providing a unified view of the data. This can be useful when querying or processing data across multiple tables with similar structures. Fourth, data integrity. Inherited tables maintain referential integrity with their parent table. Foreign key constraints defined on the parent table are automatically enforced on the child table, ensuring data consistency and preventing referential integrity issues. Flexibility and scalability. Table inheritance provides flexibility and scalability in database design. New child tables can be easily added to extend the schema hierarchy, accommodating future requirements or new types of entities without modifying the parent table or existing child tables. Six, performance optimization. Inheritance can enhance query performance by allowing you to perform operations efficiently on specific subsets of data. You can target queries or operations at the parent table to process data from all child tables at once, or focus on individual child tables to isolate and optimize specific subsets of data. Seventh, and the last one, simplified data partitioning. Table inheritance can be used in conjunction with partitioning techniques to create partition tables. By creating child tables for each partition, you can achieve data segmentation and improved performance for larger data sets. Now, one thing to keep in mind, that table inheritance should not be used widely or just without careful planning. It should be used judiciously, and the pros and cons should be carefully evaluated based on your specific use case. It offers benefits, such as proper design, maintenance, and query optimization, which are essential. That way you can leverage the advantages of table inheritance effectively. Okay, that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the and some code. Okay, now we're here, we're going to go and log into psql, and we're going to create a database called tinheritance. After that's been created, we're going to create a parent table called employees. Oh, I'm in the wrong database. We're going to try that again. Perfect. We're there. Now we're going to create child tables. And these are named full-time and part-time employees. Let's list and see how many tables we have in our database. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and take a look and describe employees. We notice that we have the first name and last name along with the hire date as we expected. Now let's describe full-time. Notice we have inherited the employee ID, first name, last name, and the hire date successfully. Now let's select it part-time. Same. The difference is we have another column there. And as you notice, everything else matches. Okay. Now let's continue. We're going to separate and start adding columns to each one of these two. Great. Now let's again, let's look at full-time. Everything was inherited from employee ID, first name, last name, hire date but we have a salary. Okay, now let's look at full-time employees, part-time part employees, I mean. And the difference is it has an hourly rate. Perfect. Let's insert some data so that we can start noticing the difference. Perfect. The data has been added. Now let's query all three tables. We see the structure. Notice for employees, we have the hire date along with four 
full time, we match the columns with the exception of salary. Then we move into part time and we have an hourly rate. Perfect. Now, just to test inheritance once more, let's add a column into the employees called nickname, nick underscore name. Now, let's repeat the process. Notice the column was just added. It is now available here for employees and the same for part time and full time. Great. We have successfully tested in table inheritance, which works as we expected. That concludes our demo for today and our topic, but feel free to comment in up below and leave your talks, desired topics, desired talks, thoughts, comments below. We always look at the comments and are looking for new topics that could be of usefulness to you or the community. So see you in the next video.